Okay, it all starts here. That's our omnidirectional cell booster antenna mounted to our TV antenna mast. It just goes up and down with the TV antenna. We don't have to worry about pointing it anywhere. The cable for that goes through the same entrance as the TV antenna, so I didn't have to drill any holes in the roof of the, the RV, which was critical. And it comes down then inside. So this is where the antenna cable comes down in. And this is how we dial it up and down so the whole thing lays flat on the roof of the RV. So the cable goes through the surface mount raceway through the wall here. To here in the attic as we call it. And there's the cell booster itself. So the external antenna comes in here. And the internal antenna wire comes out there. And we can turn it on and off with this switch right here. So turn it on. And it glows green when it's working. It glows red if there's interference or some kind of crosstalk between the internal and external antenna. We've got really good reception here though, so I don't need to, to leave it on. The internal antenna then goes up down this raceway, down here into this hole, which comes out in the bunkhouse office, back up in there. The internal antenna is mounted with Velcro here on the ceiling, right by our jetpack, which is then uh, getting a nice boosted signal. So this is our Pepwave mobile router. Piece of junk as it turns out to be, but I'm using it for now. It then does Wi-Fi bridging to the jetpack to get our, our signal. And I've got that patched into an 8-port gigabit hub, or switch. And then from there, we've got my Synology NAS, our Sonos router, or Sonos bridge, excuse me. And then wired connections. You can see we've got the patch panel here. Wired Ethernet going both to the bedroom, two of them to the living room, one for the Xbox and one for the Roku. And then another one. I'll kind of show, show this one for you. Again, the surface mount raceway. Do, 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 all the way down to that jack there, which I then plug into my workstation. So that's also one of the Sonos speakers, and another Sonos speaker over there, making for a stereo pair here. Also, you can see the two Ethernet cables going through the wall there. They then are then coming through in this cabinet up here and underneath the cabinet, the back of the cabinet, right out through the side of the cabinet there and then kind of lay along the top of the slide to where I have another surface mount uh, box here. And for now the cables are just strung there. I'm going to make this look neater at some point. But there's two connections there. Only one of them is active right now going to the Roku. Um, there will be another one for the Xbox at some point. So that is our network in a nutshell.